finance, high cost of land acquisition, inadequate infrastructure, and efficient regulatory processes and unfavorable policies. Among others have been identified as challenges facing real estate developers in joint ventures in Nigeria. These, among others, were highlighted on Tuesday in Lagos at the 2023 Mandatory Continuing Professional Development MCPD by the Lagos State Chapter of the Nigerian Institution of Estates of the Years and Values Teamed, Values Teamed, Opportunities and Challenges in Joint Ventures and Development Leases. Our property developer and leading facilitator, facilitator of the workshop at Kintola Oladejo, who dwelt extensively on the theme, said real estate was critical to Nigeria's economic development, but pointed out that the challenges identified have continued to be stumbling block to development of the sector. While making presentation on issues relating to finance and sharing ratio and primary joint venture or real estate entrepreneur, Ayo Olari Waju said the current trend of exchange rate, high interest rate among other economic indices in Nigeria have made real estate to be at low ebb. But B was but it was quick to make it clear that there were steps to successful joint venture financing in real estate. The Lagos State Chairman of the institution, Ulubin Ismail, stated that there was the need to unlock opportunities in the... Because it makes all the sense to use debt, to use credit, to do business in that place. Those that understand finance, when you run your finance figures. But here, if I do it, things like my internal rate of return becomes negative. I'm using double digit, 20, 26%, 20% interest rate. The project is dead on arrival. You know, that's why you see a lot of the bank funded joint venture development are, you know, money bond. There are many abandoned projects in Lagos. Real estate is at the lowest low. Very low patronage. And interest rate. Constant error devaluation. So it's, it's really, really making the financial institutions to be wary of real estate. And the rate at which real estate companies are defaulting on their financial obligation to these financial houses is at actually at, at an alarming rate. So as a result of that, to assess fund now for real estate is actually there. Next year. The reason is to begin to upgrade training because we need to learn. As we learn, we improve on our business. It helps us. So that's why we even encourage members. We encourage members that they should ask their friends that they have staff, they should register their staff so that they can learn. Because it will help them in doing day to day development leases. Now, what any joint venture does is collaboration. It brings people together with different expert resources of different things in order to make something happen. Now, for us in this particular case, we are talking of land. How do we unlock the opportunities in the real estate industry? So, Barren line on used land, land that is not realizing its full potential, is what we Since joint venture is promoted, practiced, and executed by humans, conflicts are bound to arise. So, how are these conflicts to? I want to ask whether estate surveyors and valuers are involved up to 10% of the joint ventures in the. 